Hi there, and welcome back to another video in learning how to draw in perspective. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw in three-point perspective. So three-point perspective is basically just having three vanishing points for your object. Now, three-point perspective is pretty cool because it's kind of a mix of one-point and two-point. If you don't know how to do either one-point or two-point perspective, check out our earlier video tutorials. Okay, enough chit-chat, let's get started. So as always, start with the horizon line, and I'm going to put mine at the top. Then on that horizon line, put two dots, one and two. And these are going to be your first vanishing points. But remember, this is three-point perspective, so we need a third point, duh. And that third point is going to go way down here at the bottom, in the middle of the two vanishing points. Okay, and then to start, I'm going to draw a line coming up from the third vanishing point. And it can go straight or skewed or whatever, but for mine, I'm just going to make it go straight up. Then we have to connect the top of this line to both vanishing point number one and vanishing point number two. And then we have to determine how far down we want our shape to go. I want mine, uh, I guess this far down. And I'm going to connect it again to vanishing point number one and vanishing point number two. All right. So, if this was just two-point perspective, we would draw some straight vertical lines to finish off our shape. But, since it's three-point perspective, we have to connect them to the third point. So going from the third point, determine how wide you want your shape to be, and connect it to your top orthogonal line. And since I want to show you varying widths for this box, this other side here is going to be skinny! Okay, and since the shape is under the horizon line, we have to draw on the top. So connect this side to the opposite vanishing point, and this side to its opposite vanishing point. Yay! Now here's the box in three-point perspective. Now we gotta erase the orthogonal lines that are outside of the box, and it'll be done! Done if you do want a solid box, but I want to show you what a transparent box looks like in three-point perspective. So I will quickly draw that in now. And voila! A transparent box in three-point perspective. Yay! So I'm gonna draw in another shape, but from a different viewpoint. This one, I'm gonna put in a line very low, and the third vanishing point at the tippy top. I'm using the same steps to create this box that I did to create the first box. There we go! It's a floating box! Yay! <laughs> so that first one was like we were looking at the box from above, and this one is like we're looking at it from underneath. But what if we wanted to look at something from the ground, say, like if you wanted to draw a skyscraper? Then you would want to draw your vertical lines going past the horizon line, placing it on the ground plane. And suddenly, you have a box placed on the same ground that you're viewing it from. This way, you don't see either its top or its bottom. Awesomeness! It kind of looks like the Washington Monument. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you learned a little something about three-point perspective and can apply it to your own drawings. See you next time or I show you how to draw a circle in perspective. Have a good one! Bye!